Hey, what's going on guys? It is Caleb, and we're back with another JavaScript tutorial. Introduction to Objects 2. We are re doing Objects in Review, are closer than they appear. So this is somewhat of just a uh, sum it up kind of thing, our last little tutorial here for our JavaScript course. So without further more ado, let's go ahead and reset our console and let's get started. Looks foreign to me. Objects aren't so foreign if you really think about it. Remember, you can figure out the type of a variable by using type of my variable. Types we are concerned with for now are objects, strings, and numbers. We call the for in loop for var x in object curly brace execute something and then we close off our curly brace. This will go through all the properties of object one by one and assign the property name to x on each run of the loop. Let's combine our knowledge of these two concepts. The instructions are examine the language objects. Three properties are strings where areas one is a number. Use a for and loop to print out the three ways to say hello. In the loop you should check to see if the property value is a string so you don't accidentally print a number. So that's easy. We just pretty much make a loop that has the um, that has an if statement and does a uh, check to see if the type of is equal to a string. And to do this, all we have to do is go ahead and just say for var a in languages. Actually, that's lowercase. And what this will do, this will set up our loop to start looping through languages. And that is var, not car. There we go. And then we make an if statement. So if type of, and then we say languages, and then where we are at, so whatever slot we are in languages. And then we do three equal signs because we're checking it, and we're going to compare it to a string. Now that we have that, we open up our curly braces, and then we console dot log, and then we just pretty much console our languages back out if it's a string. And after we do that, put our semicolon. Now, if we go ahead and try to run this, we should get hello, bonjour, and hola. And we get hello, bonjour, and hola. So we got the green light. Let's go ahead and go to the next lesson. Hello, yes, this dog. But without further more to do, let's reset the code. There we go. We should all know by now what the cool... Oh, we should all know by now what's so cool about using prototype. We can define a method for a class. In any instance of the class, an example, object created using that class constructor can use this that method. Remember that the classes in the prototype are important to object or, or, uh, oriented programming. Add the say hello method to the dog class by extending its prototype. Say hello should print out the console. Hello, this is a and then whatever breed of dog. Where the breed is the dog's breed. So right now we have an unnecessary semicolon up here. So we just go ahead and get rid of that. Not sure why that's there. <coughs> now all we have to do is come over to this little line seven right here, and we just gotta say dog dot proto type dot say hello equals function. Now we are creating our new function. Yes, add a semicolon here. After we have our new function, just console dot log hello. This is a and then we're just gonna do um actually let's do space plus uh, we need to do this dot breed so dot breed and after we get this dot breed we're just going to plus our string back in here again 
and space, then hit dog. Add our semicolon, and we should be good. Actually, let's delete that dot period and space. Okay, so that should work. Okay, now that we have that, my dog dot say hello. Okay, this should work. Let's go ahead and try it. And if we run it, you see, hello, this is a golden retriever dog. Hello, this is a uh, Dashon dog. So, it obviously worked. Let's go ahead and go on to the next exercise. And just reset our code. So, Meta, I can't take it. Do you remember how we said every JavaScript object has some baggage associated with it? Part of this baggage was the has own property method available to all objects. Now let's see where this came from. If we have just a plain object, an example, not created from a class constructor, recall that it automatically inherits from object.prototype. Could this be where we get has own property from? How can we check? The instructions are, let's first see what type object object.prototype is. Do this in line 2 and save it into prototype. If all goes well, you should realize that object.prototype itself is an object, and since all objects have the has own property method, it's pretty easy to check if has own property comes from object.prototype. Do this in line 6 and the result may be surprising. So what we have to do now is pretty much just come up to here where it says var uh, prototype. We just say type of uh, t y p e o v type of. There we go. Object dot proto type t y p e and then console dot log prototype. Okay, that's good. And then var has own is object dot prototype dot has own property. And then we're going to say has own property. And cancel that. And semicolon. And we should be good. Console log has on. Okay, let's go ahead and try this. Save and submit our code. And we get object and true. Sweet. So there we go. We got the green light. As you can see, if we look down here in the hint, it just gives you a hint of what we just did. But we can see that they both have the uh, has own property method because they're both objects. <laughs> So let's go ahead and reset the code. And private eye. Recall that public properties can be accessed from outside the class. Private properties can only be accessed from within the class. Using constructor notation, a property declared as this.property equals some value will be public. Where areas of property declared with a var property equals hidden value will be private. So pretty much to make a private variable in JavaScript, you just stick a var in front of it and that will make it private. And without a var, you can just make it public. In this exercise, hit run and you'll see that all your grades are exposed. You really just want people to know your overall GPA. Modify the student report class so that no grades will be printed to the console in for the for in loop. However, the get GPA should still function properly in the last line. So right now, go ahead and save and submit our code. You see how we get more four, more two, more one, and your overall GPA is two point three 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 than five. So um, yeah, that, we should not be getting that. We should just be getting our overall GPA. So <clears throat> to fix this, first thing that we want to do is just go ahead and put vars in front of all this so remove these this and just go ahead and say just var and var again and then var again so we got var grade 1 grade 2 and then grade 3 
this dot GPA equals function. Okay, that's straight. Uh, return this grade one right here. We we just say return grade one. Return grade two and plus grade three. There we go. Divide it all by three, and that will give us our average. And then we have our student report. Let's make sure everything else just looks good. And let's see if type of student report. We'll see here. X, okay, that's straight. Not equals function, okay. Not moi, okay. Plus, okay. So that's straight. Then console.log your overall GPA. Okay, let's go ahead and try and run this and see what we get. And we get the green light. So your overall GPA is 2.3335. So if you guys didn't catch that, I was just checking through the rest of this code. But pretty much you just replace the this with vars and you modify the um, GPA function down here and you should get the green light. Alright guys, thank you for staying tuned for this last uh, little video here for JavaScript. This is our last tutorial for the JavaScript course in Code Academy. Stay tuned for the project. It should be uploaded right now. So if you haven't already gone ahead and learned how to build a cache register, it's a good time to learn how to do it. It's pretty easy. And um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, uh, like, comment the video. Uh, PM me if you have any questions or leave comments below. You know, just try to get back to you all, you guys ASAP. And uh, have a nice day, guys. Thanks for watching.